Hey, I'm Eric from Curbside Cycle, and today we're going to talk about the Winther Cargo Cargo Bike. So the cool thing about Winther is that they've been around since 1932, one of Denmark's oldest companies producing cargo bikes, and it's still family owned, which is cool because this bike's also made for families. You might also know Winther by the playground toys that they make. And like all the cargo bikes we sell, the Winther Cargo is designed for quality, comfort, and safety. In the cargo bike world, there's a number of really high qualified engineers that have really made a name for themselves, and this is no exception with the Winther. Behind the Winther bike is none other than Lars Molnberg, who is the head engineer now at Bullet Cargo Bike. And just like Bola cargo bikes, the Winther bikes are famous for their engineered quality. Just everything fits together just beautifully and it's highly modular. This means that the, the Winther bike is made for the growing family. So whether you have a toddler, an infant, or grown-up children, even adults, there's different seating configurations that you can put into this bike to make it work for the growing family. Like most other Danish trikes, the Winther is also very lightweight. And this is one of the really categorical differences between a Dutch cargo bike and a Danish cargo bike. Both are highly impact resistant, but the Danish cargo bikes tend to be significantly lighter, sometimes up to 40% lighter than the Dutch cargo bikes. And this is because the Winther uses ABS plastic instead of heavy duty marine grade wood. Both are highly impact resistant, but the Winther is significantly lighter. So the importance of a lightweight cargo bike can't be minimized, but the importance of a lightweight handling cargo bike is even more important. We've already talked about the Dutch cargo bikes and how they tend to be heavy. Well, where does most of that weight lie with a Dutch cargo bike? Well, it lies with the box. The box itself can be up to 70 pounds, the same weight as this entire bike. That means that the steering on most Dutch three-wheelers tends to be very heavy, and you want to avoid that. Unlike Holland, most of North America has developing infrastructure, which means you are sharing the same space with cars. Having a bike that's able then to react quickly is of the essence. When you're buying a cargo bike, it's really critical, if it's an electric bike, that the motor is globally serviceable, and we really insist on this. So what do we mean? So one of the things we love about the Winther cargo bikes is that the electric bikes use a Shimano motor, which is fundamentally globally serviceable. What I mean by that is if you had this bike in Denmark, Holland, Japan, anywhere, you would always be able to find a mechanic who can service it. Shimano is a huge company and a leader within the bike bicycle industry. This global serviceability we can't stress enough. Companies like Shimano, Bosch, Yamaha, these are leading companies that produce really good quality. But that quality is matched by really good after sales service, which means that if you're in a pinch, something's gone wrong, the turnaround time and the diagnostic time is very rapid. There's no sort of guessing games like you get with a lot of these kit manufacturers. So let's get back to the Winther box, because the box in many ways is the essence of a cargo bike. The Winther uses something called pivot steering or box steering. What that means is that the actual box moves left and right instead of just the wheels. The wheels are bolted onto the box, the box is on a pivot, and you basically swing the box left and right to steer. If the box is lightweight, you get impeccable handling. If the box is really heavy, you start to lose that handling, making it less reactive in high contingency situations, like riding in most North American traffic. First, it needs to be said that this box is impact resistant. So like all the cargo bikes we sell, it can sustain impacts of up to 40 kilometers per hour. And it's important to remember that most studies show that in heavy gridlock traffic, traffic only really moves at 16 kilometers per hour. We're talking car traffic. So this bike is fundamentally safe. The second thing is, how does this box accommodate your growing family? Let's talk about the modularity of this box and how it works with your growing family. First, you can get the bike simply just as a box. Box only, no seating whatsoever. Perfect for groceries, perfect for dogs. So if we're starting with a growing family, let's start with an infant. There's two ways you can do that. One is with the Maxi Cozy adapter, and the other is with their infant seat. Now the Maxi Cozy adapter is a lovely way to go. It does swallow up more space in the box, but what it gives you is another impact resistant child seat 
sitting into a suspended uh, carrier, which just sort of relieves the child of all these bumps that the, the bike is receiving. If space is of a concern, then you can use the Winther child seat, which just takes up the same amount of space as one of these seats on the bike. So an example of like the space saving when it comes to the infant seat is a Maxi Cozy will take up a good part of the box. Whereas if you use the Winther infant seats, say you had twins, you can actually put two infant seats side by side. Now let's talk about older children. The cool thing about the Winther box is it can take up to four kids and you can choose whether that's one seat, two seats, three seats, or four seats. The Winther can also take full grown adults. In this case, you'd wanna use the bench. Like all Danish cargo bikes, the Winther Cargo sits the rider into a very upright position. Of course, this is really important in traffic so that you can see what's coming up ahead of you, but also so you can be seen from behind. So one of the similarities between a city like Copenhagen or a city like Toronto is that very few people have a garage to put their bike into. For that reason, the Winther is actually designed like a car to be storable outside year round. The critical feature of this would be the frame itself. In this case, the frame is made out of aluminum, which cannot rust. And on top of that aluminum is a very, very thick powder coat paint job, which is one of the most durable finishes you can put onto a bicycle. That means the bike is both chip resistant and highly rust resistant. Likewise, the parts on the Winther are made for perpetual outdoor storage, but also very low maintenance. So one of the critical areas there is the rear hub. So the rear hub is basically the engine of the bike. Unlike most North American bikes, which have external gears and often a ton of gears, 27 speeds, 30 speeds these days, this is a simple five speed bicycle and the gears are actually all inside the rear hub, which means that they're sealed from the elements, they're sealed from salt, and they're made for a very low maintenance, perpetual four season riding. The cool thing about the Nexus five internal gear hub from Shimano as well is that it's the only hub on the market that's actually made to sustain the perpetual torque coming out of the motor, which means that long-term maintenance on this hub is gonna be really, really good compared to other hubs on the market. Now, let's say you're going down a hill, you've got a dog in here, you've got two kids, you've got groceries on the back. It's really important that you've got really strong and powerful disc brakes on the bike. And indeed, there's three disc brakes on this bike. There's two on the front wheel and one on the back wheel. What's really important about these disc brakes is that they're not just cable activated disc brakes, which can get a lot of cable fade and sort of lose power when you really, really need it. These are hydraulic disc brakes. And there's two great things about hydraulic disc brakes. Hydraulic brakes have really unlimited power. So you always have this really perfect braking response built into the lever, whether that's just slowing down around a corner or just fiercely stopping on the spot. The other great thing about hydraulic brakes is if you are in fact a year round cyclist, the hydraulic fluid inside the line cannot freeze, which can happen to a lot of cable activated brakes. Riding in a city means you don't want to put on sporty clothes to go just to the library or to the bank or what have you. You want to wear what you're wearing right now. So the Winther Cargo has to accommodate those needs. And indeed it does. Just like most Danish and Dutch cargo bikes, the Winther comes with a very sort of obvious piece of equipment that you don't find on most North American bikes. And that's called the chain guard. And the chain guard simply keeps your clothes clean so you're doing less laundry. The other important thing you want to keep covered is the children themselves, of course. So the Winther comes with an optional rain tent. And this rain tent is not just any rain tent, it actually is basically a roll bar system. So it adds another layer of impact resistance to the bike while also keeping the kids dry. Cool thing with the rain tent too, is if it's a hot day, you can simply roll up the front flap. There's an optional insect net to keep the bugs off. And if it's freezing cold or raining, you simply roll down that top panel and you're warm and toasty inside the box. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you're welcome to book an in-store appointment or remote appointment, which you can do online or by phone. Want to watch more videos? Hit that subscribe button.